So a few things haven't gone according to plan. Uh, President Trump, Trump's administration has chipped away ceaselessly at uh, environmental protections. Uh, he seems to love coal. Mm. And climate skeptics still exist. How have these challenges changed you and your approach? Well, uh, since President Trump took office, the uh, cancellation and retirement of coal plants, uh, coal generating plants, has actually accelerated. Uh, and, and I was worried when he made his announcement uh, that we were going to pull out of the Paris uh, Agreement, but no other country in the world followed his lead. Uh, you know, in physics, there's this law of the, uh, for each action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Well, that's true in politics as well. And you saw the big march here last Saturday, if you were here, all over the world in cities. And what, what did the California state legislature uh, did uh, last week, and the governor signed it uh, on Monday? Which is 100% uh, ele renewable electricity by 2045. Correct, and here in California. Plan. And he accompanied the signing of that bill with the signing of an executive order that commits the state of California to zero carbon energy in all of the activities that take place in California by 2045. So this is an extremely consequential measure. Uh, and, and again, it's happened since Trump uh, took office. And uh, by, by the way, under the law, and we are still a nation under law as of uh, <laughs> right now, and will remain so, uh, under the law, the first day the U.S. could actually withdraw from the Paris Agreement happens to be one day after the next presidential election. Uh, and if, if there's a new president, excuse me for a moment, then <laughs> a new president could simply give 30 days notice and the U.S. would be right back in the agreement. And we have seen not only California, but 15 other states and hundreds of cities uh, hundreds of giant companies. Uh, I'm on the board of Apple, and Apple's already 100% renewable energy. Uh, we heard from uh, Benioff, uh, the, Mark Benioff, the head of Salesforce, uh, th this morning. They're already at 100% renewable energy. There's so many others that are doing this. Uh, Google, um, same way. And incidentally, I'll use them as an example of this sustainability revolution. They uh, bought uh, an artificial intelligence company called DeepMind uh, several years ago, about four years ago. And the, the, the founders, uh, Demis Hasibis and Mustafa Suleiman, are just incredibly smart. Uh, and they asked uh, DeepMind if they could help with the energy use in Google's server farms, the biggest in the world. So with no new hardware and an increased output of processed information, just with the use of AI, they were able to reduce energy use by 56% in all these server farms. 